Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Teresa Crawley here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2023 Newmar Ventana diesel pusher. This floor plan is the 43328. One of my very favorite floor plans, and you'll see it's because of this incredible kitchen area. We'll get more into detail with that kitchen as we go along, but that's really what sets this floor plan apart from some of the other popular 43 foot Newmar diesel pushers. This is a Ventana, so it has a 400 horsepower Cummins engine. This is built on a Spartan K2 chassis. So we're gonna get into some of the nitty gritty of the livability of this coach. Uh, we'll get more into the chassis details later, as well as the cab and some of the extras that were added to this coach. Um, Obviously we have your living area here that I'm just starting with. And we at TransWest optioned this coach um, to the specifications we thought would work for you. If these aren't your favorite, for instance, you'd rather have a sofa here or theater seating, you'd rather have a booth seating area rather than the table and chairs, we can definitely order that for you. We might even have one on our lot that fits your needs a little bit better. But right now, this is something I love the way we laid this out. Um, especially the complimentary um, darker wood. You're seeing a lot of white wood lately, and I love how this is more of a, just an earthy tone, um, timeless. You're not gonna get tired of it, but it still makes the coach look really bright and cheery in here. Um, coaches can get really dark and cavernly if you do too much dark. Um, so maybe the things that you prefer for your home uh, you're not going to want in an RV necessarily. Um, so I like that we did the two-tone here, the really nice ivory um, leather in here as well. So again, we did option in these recliner seats. Something I really, really like about these seats is that they can be pulled out. So say um, you have a, some guests that you want to sit in a different arrangement, you can actually just pull this out and put it wherever you want in the coach or outside the coach for that matter. So I do have a lot of customers that have larger dog kennels. This is a great spot for those to go. But the recliners themselves are also quite comfortable and they're not that heavy. I'm just trying to get good leverage here. You also can turn them sideways if you want more walking room as you're going through the coach when the slides are in. We do have a really nice table here for when you're watching TV. So cup holders that are built in here. And then we do have some storage down below. And directly across from us is where you're gonna see your Samsung TV. We also have a Bose sound bar. And I'll just show you that everything in here is at the push of a button, quite easy to use. So when you're done with the TV and you just wanna have that great outside view. You just push this TV lift down button and that goes right away for you. We also have LED lighting throughout the coach and there are so many places that you can turn them on and off. Um, I went through and was touching all of them. I'll show you on the panel um, as we go a little bit further back, but we have reading lights here. We have also lights inside of the slide and then some outside or rather on the main ceiling. The reason that that's important is because when your slides are closed, all of those lights get blocked out. Um, so it can get really dark in here for passengers if you are closed up and going down the road. So just something to note that Numar does things that you don't necessarily think of when you're on a showroom looking at a coach. Um, directly across from me, we do have a trifold sleeper. So you can have two um, adults come along with you and they will have a comfortable place to sleep. You're not going to have to pop a tent behind the coach. And then moving into my very favorite part of this coach, we're going to look at this kitchen area. Now, a lot of you that are familiar with Numar, the Numar line, um, a lot of us have gone to all electric coaches. You can get this with a propane cooktop, um, but we did option this in as all electric. Um, so some of the things that happen when you get an all-electric coach is that you get an induction cooktop. 
and Numar does this better than anyone else. I'll show you why. So most other manufacturers, they have your induction cooktop. It's part of your counter. So it doesn't lift up, it doesn't go anywhere. If you were to drop a pan on this, it's gonna shatter. Um, you saw that I just took those protective pieces off. But the other great thing is that this can go anywhere you want it to. So if you wanna go cook outside um, and have a you know, cook out with your friends, you can take this outside, plug it into one of those outside bays outlets, and you can cook out there. Easy peasy. Also, it's a lot easier to clean when it's not, it, you're not trying to get in the crevices and things like that. So you can just wipe this down really easily. The other thing that they did is on the opposite side of these covers, um, first of all, they're not that heavy. They are a solid surface like a Corian, but they're not that heavy to me anyway. But the other side, um, they put in cutting boards for you. So you've got some extra prep space here. We do have a question if you've got a second. Sure. Uh, one of the uh, viewers wants to know if okay. the uh, windows, if this has the option for bonded windows. Bonded windows. They don't give an option for another, um, I don't believe so. That's the answer I'm going to give you right now. I would have to reach out to Newmar's engineers and find out if they would be willing to spec that in. I'm going to say probably not but um, I'm more than happy to reach out. Go ahead and leave your email or direct um, text me or email me and I'm happy to get back to you on that answer. Um, I've never had that question before, so let me find out for you, okay? We're gonna move on now because um, there's a lot more to see in this kitchen. So we of course have your Whirlpool. This is a convection microwave oven, so you can actually bake in there. Don't be intimidated. I promise we will teach you how to use all of the things that you're seeing here. But there are a lot of um, remote controls in here for your Bose sound bar, for your Samsung TVs. You do have three Samsung TVs on this coach. Um, we also have, this is for your awnings that I will show you later. So you can um, take this outside and leave it in one of the outside compartments to operate your um, awnings out there if you like or you can actually do it from right above the driver, and I'll show you that as we go along. We also have some extra paint if you happen to get a chip or something like that, and your fobs to lock and unlock your entry as well as your basement storage. So, down here we have a dishwasher, and let's see if it'll open for me today. Maybe not. Okay, so that's not gonna open for me, but it, it truly is about as deep as it looks. So you've got great pots and pan storage in there. If you don't need to use this as a dishwasher for the time being or whatever, makes a great place for pasta pots. Um, let's go ahead and look at all this storage here. So we've got four of these. The two on top seem to be a little bit bigger, or excuse me, smaller, but actually as I pull them out, they all are containing about the same amount, but full extension. And then up here, great place for your spices, cooking oils, etc. And then it's almost like we have another kitchen. I love this. It just keeps going and going. So a little more storage here above, um, under your fantastic fan. Um, and more storage here. This is actually your bag of manuals. So there's a lot of helpful information in there if you happen to have a problem with your fan or your refrigerator or whatever, that's all gonna be enclosed in there for you. More space here. We've got a little place for your sponges and things like that under your sink. And a little bit more over here. So lots and lots of space in here. If you're somebody that likes to cook or if this is a coach that you're planning on spending good amounts of time in. This is gonna have a lot, a lot more space than a lot of other floor plans are. We also added a kitchen window here that can open. So this is one of those that opens um, and kind of pops out, as you can see. So you can get some of that cross breeze going even when it's raining outside. And the kitchen just keeps going. <laughs> Come back over here. And I'm gonna show you this incredible pantry we have. This is like twice as big as any other pantry I've seen in a motorhome. 
Um, you might have noticed that I pushed in on this um, drawer. That's because they have an extra locking mechanism. So these are full extension as well, but they do lock into place um, when you're done using them. And that's really great. Even though you do have these doors, if anything were to fly open, say you were taking a really sharp corner or went over a really bad bump, sometimes things can you know, shift or fly open during your drive. So I love that they did just an extra um, fail safe for you. This of course is your refrigerator freezer. We do have water in the door here. It does come with a filter. Um, and just as a side note, this whole coach has a water filtra filtration system. So you're gonna have filtered water at your faucets as well. Here's your freezer with your ice maker. And we also do have an integrated lock here. Um, for those of you who've seen other motorhome manufacturers, a lot of times that lock is very ugly. I don't know how else to say it. Ugly, it's on the face of here. You're gonna have to mess with all this stuff. They don't always line up really well. They're just a pain. Or I see people adding Velcro, which just does not look good. So this is very uh, sleek, hidden. Really like how they did that. Um, over here, we have optioned in a kind of a unique um, table situation, um, and I'll show you why that is. Um, of course, you have the option of a booth. You have the option of a desk workstation uh, booth. You can do just a table and chairs that doesn't have this deep counter space. Um, this is actually intended to be more of a workstation slash eating area. And the, the, the reason I say that is because we have a place here to put your cords down. USBs as well can be plugged into here. And then your cords can go through here. And then if you had any technical equipment, you can put them down in these um, storage places down here. We also have a little place on the other side for files. So this is actually a filing cabinet here. So for those of you who are still working on the road, this is perfect for you. Or if you're living in this coach, which a lot of people are doing nowadays, they're just trying to help make this the most livable coach possible. So just more storage in these two. And then for the dining part, this is what's really unusual, is that this table is not connected to this wall. So you can actually pull this out, just like with the recliners, you can pull this out and really position it wherever you want in the coach. So you can see that this is a freestanding table and here, let me pull that out a little bit further so you can see. So this is a freestanding table. You can put it anywhere you want, including in front of those recliners or the couch, um, whatever works for you. And then there's a leaf in the back um, stored away if you needed to expand it to this size. And then when you're done, you just pull that leaf out and you can push this right back together. It's very easy. This was not difficult for me to do at all. So really nice feature to have this freestanding table. We also have two folding chairs under the bed in case you have extra guests. So this makes a great little card playing place. And I kind of try to scooch it so that I'm not banging anything up in here, but. Okay, so pretty cool situation there. This is something that's new to the Ventana this year. So we have this touchscreen panel that has a lot of your central important things going on here. So I'm gonna go to home. And you can check, how are my chassis batteries doing? How are my house batteries? Is my fresh tank needing to be refilled or is my black tank needing to be dumped? It's all right there for you. You also can turn all your lights on and off at this position. You can also put your TV lift up and down. So really handy when you are ready to go to bed at night, you can just say all lights off. Um, we also can set your automa automatic generator so you can set that for a lot of different things um, for quiet time. Let's see here. So say you're at an RV park and they say no generators are running after 9 p.m. So you can set it for that to only start and stop at certain times. That way you're not bothering your 
neighbors or getting kicked out for that matter. <laughs> just kidding. Um, also, if you are leaving a pet here or you just don't want the coach to get super, super hot while you're out taking a hike, you can set it for if the batteries get below a certain amount, um, chassis batteries as well. So that generator will start itself when you're away and just keep it cooler or hot or certain times a day, etc. So this is another thing I promise we will teach you when you purchase the coach. It's don't get overwhelmed. This isn't too complicated for you. We'll make it real easy for you to understand. But these are really important things to have when you have a high-end coach like this. Another feature we have here is floor heating, front, mid, and back, high, medium, low. Right now we have that all turned off, um, but it, it's really, really nice first thing in the morning especially. Um, we can also check our um, heat AC and heat pump um, and turn it on or off. This is basically your thermostat, but you can choose, let's see, I'm gonna say, let's see. Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Set up. Let's see. So you can do day night, how I want it to run. Kitchen, boy, is it hot in here. So this is what I was trying to show you. The mode is on cool, so that's gonna be your air conditioner. You can have the mode on auto. Heat pump, that's when it's not super, super cold. So you can have your air conditioner units actually put out some heat for you just to cut the edge if it's you know, 32 degrees or so. Um, you can also have fan off. You can also use um, heat from your uh, continuous hot water system, which is your Oasis system in this coach. This system also can pair with your devices. So um, Google Play or your Apple App Store. And then you can do this when you're away. Say, oh no, I forgot to turn on the generator. I forgot to turn the air conditioner on for the dog. You can pair your phone to that and get that going while you're out on your hike. And then of course we have controls for all the lights through the whole coach. So just a quick overview, but really, really nice system to have. And that's new this year, as well as the heated floors are actually new this year too. So lots of great features. Here we have your half bath. Um, sometimes this is used just as a guest bath. Sometimes this is the gentleman's getting ready bath. Um, it's just nice to have an extra. And then you can have a really uh, great sized one in the master suite that nobody else has to see or go in. We do have some storage in here as well. Um, another fantastic fan. So I'll show you that real quick. So this storage actually goes all the way back to the end of this wall here. We've got some storage here. And I kind of have a joke with one of my customers. He watches a lot of these videos and he says, everyone says there's tons of storage. There's not tons of storage. No, there's not tons of storage in any motorhome because it's only 43 feet long. But as much as we can possibly squeeze in here is what you're gonna get in a Numar especially. They really do engineer these well. A Little bit more. And there's actually more behind the door here. Now that's gonna be hard for me to show you because the door is in the way. But a lot of this is of course your electrical things, which is good to have it there so that your kids can't mess with it. Um, but this does go back a little bit more here. So you can see there's a little bit more storage there. Sorry, I'd have to get in here with my cameraman and it's pretty tight, so. <laughs> he doesn't wanna to get to know me that well. <laughs> One other thing that's right here before we go into the master bedroom area is your central vacuum unit. So we do have a place to attach hoses here, just like a standard vacuum. There's also a kick plate. So if you have a broom with you, you can just sweep whatever debris you have right there and it'll suck it up. It actually takes it into your bay area, your bay storage, I call it the bay area, but it's not San Francisco. But, um, and then there's a little place for you to empty out that vacuum unit. So um, going back into the master suite, I'm gonna show you we have a really nice door here for privacy. There's another one at the um, bathroom entrance as well. So just so you know, there is privacy. These are not 
accordion curtains or anything cheap. Numar doesn't do cheap. So I just wanted you to see that that does go all the way across, locks into place here, or will lock into place once it's closed as well. So just know that that's there. This is a king size bed. Um, and I wanted to show you there is some storage underneath and it's very, very easy to lift this because it's on these shocks here. But these are the extra two chairs that I was telling you about, as well as this is that table leaf I was explaining earlier. But there's still room for um, some more linens and things like that down here. It's also easy to pull this back down. So the bed situation, Numar does a really great job because they think of the things that you're gonna need as a couple. So up here, of course, there's storage. It goes all the way through. There's no dividers up here. But they also have a 110 outlet here with two openings. And then right here, if you can see where I am here, right behind this light, there's actually a place that you could put your sleep apnea cord if you had that um, so that you could breathe at night. So if you can imagine sleep apnea cord, I'm familiar with it, my husband has one. So this would be really handy for us because trying to put more than just his sleep apnea machine on that um, side table thing would be a challenge, honestly. And he wants his cell phone there. So um, really nice that they made this an option that you can cord through on either side. So actually, if both of you have one, you're all set. The other thing we have here, of course, reading lights, but we also have ceiling lights for the room. We have courtesy lights, which are basically night lights that are kind of on the floor throughout the coach. So if you needed to get up in the middle of the night or your dog is wandering around, they can have those little night lights going. Um, we have left hand reading, which is this light right here. Of course, right hand, we have high low um, and we have backlighting. So if you can see this panel is kind of glowing blue, I don't know if you can see that, but you can turn that off as well because that could be annoying if you're trying to sleep. We also have accent lightings. I'm going to show you that real quick, actually. So the accent lighting is great for if you're watching a movie. Just a little bit of ambient light. It's nothing direct, nothing obnoxious. Great for when you're trying to wake up in the morning or trying to settle down at night. I also call it the romantic lighting. But. Um, also, we have a button for your security lights on the exterior of the coach here. So if you, if you get in bed and you're thinking, oh no, I forgot to turn on the security lights, you can do that right here. So that's the basics of this area. We of course have another Samsung TV directly across and it is really perfect sized for watching TV in bed. You will see there's an emergency exit window directly below it. I hope that you never need to use that. And we also have a really great emergency exit door that I'll show you in just a moment. So there are options if there ever were an emergency. These are gonna be your two shirt closets. So there's one on either side here. And down here, we have duplicate drawers, but they are different sizes. So I'm only gonna open the bottom ones to show you. Again, full extension, but they're actually pretty deep. That goes all the way to there on me. So good size. I think we're ready to go back into this master bathroom, which is so beautiful and really, really spacious. So again, we have these beautiful Corian countertops. We have two sinks, so you don't have to fight over who gets to use it when. And then this medicine cabinet is ridiculous, honestly. No dividers in here. It goes all the way from here. I'm just going to keep going. All the way down here. It's huge. It's also carpeted so that your stuff isn't going to be rolling around and bouncing around back here and spilling all over the place while you're driving. And then there's four of these and they're all equal size here. 
and then just a duplicate of what we had on the other side. And in your master closet, I'm gonna turn the light on so you can see it real well here, but a good amount of hanging space, a little bit of shoe storage or handbag storage there, and a safe to keep your valuables. This is where we keep your washer and dryer. If this isn't something that you care about, you can also get this optioned without the washer dryer and then it just gives you more storage space and we'll have a hanging bar in there. Now, this of course is your toilet. However, I want you to see what's behind it and that's the emergency exit door. Nobody does this like Numar. So, all the doors on a new are going to be really stout and sturdy. Um, I have customers that are afraid to pull on them because they don't want to hurt them. And I say, you're not going to hurt them. This is actually meant to be this way. The reason that they make these doors this way that you have to kind of pull on them to get them in is because if the wind picks up other brands, I'm just going to say that will, the door will come at you and smack you. It's happened to me before, unfortunately, but these don't do that. So you get a big gust of wind, you don't have to worry about that slamming on you or your pet or your kid. Um, they just do a great job. This is the cover for the um, ladder that, that comes out here. I'm trying to think the best way to show you this button. So this is just a Velcro strip, very easy to do in a panic. And then this just comes down and drops. So when you let, when, if I were to let go of this, this ladder would go to the ground and you can climb out of here very safely and easily. Um, it's a lot better than trying to get through a little window and um, jumping, basically. I'm still waiting for the day that they make us like a little slide, like on an airplane. That would be kind of fun, but <laughs> I doubt that's coming. So there's that. I'll get that fixed up when we're leaving. I didn't want you to have to wait. But here is the master shower area. We, of course, have a little shower seat in here. Great for shaving your legs or if you just need a break because you're taking such a long shower. But um, really nice that you can have that there. The other thing that I wanted to point out is this shower miser. Um, what that is, is it's going to recirculate your water until it's warm enough to come out. So if you want your water to be at this warmth, you know, on the dial, let's say 50%. I want it at 50%. Well, it's going to not come out or it's going to not light up until it's warm enough. So when it's at 50%, let's say, that light's going to come on, then you can say, okay, then it can come out. The reason that's important is that we only have so much water in these things. So if you're not hooked up to a water system at an RV park or something like that, you're gonna run out of water at some point. It's really important to save it. I mean, besides the environmental issues, you're literally gonna run out in a motorhome. So that's why they do that. It's really so smart. We also have a little sunroof up there, give you some extra light and some extra headroom if you're a taller person. Yes? Brian wants to know if we can fire up the generator and open the dishwasher. Oh, okay. So we have a special request to turn on the generator and it's very easy to do. So I'm actually gonna use this one up here so I can actually close this door as well. But I do have an, a button here for the generator start stop and you may notice that I was holding down the stop part of the button so that's actually just um, getting it prepped ready to go once this light stops um, blinking at you and it comes full on that means you're ready to start that generator so there it goes real quick fired right up and that generator is directly below me So one of the great things about having a diesel pusher, generators up front, engines in the back. It's 
So while you're driving, you're usually not going to have your generator on while you're driving. Um, the exceptions to that are going to be um, you have guests back here and you want to keep your air conditioning going or lights or whatever that is. Um, so you're generally not going to have that going when you're driving. And while you're driving, of course, your engine's going to be running. It's all the way in the back. So you're not really going to hear it as well as swap that situation and you're trying to sleep at night, your generator's all the way up here. So if you want your air conditioning running then, that's not gonna be an issue for you. So yeah, we did get this powered up. And there is the dishwasher. So again, nice and deep. Little place for your silverware. There's also a lot of places that this can um, fold down and pop up. So again, you can use this as storage if you're somebody who's like, ah, what a waste. It's really not a waste once you get used to it. Um, I think most of us don't like changing the way that we do things, but again, really handy to not have to scrub your dishes while you're, <laughs> you know, on vacation. Okay, let's go check out this front cab area or cockpit. I'm gonna turn that generator off just for sound right now. And I'm gonna turn our engine on. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is so quiet, again, because it's in the back of the coach. I can clearly have a conversation with the person sitting next to me right now. I can listen to music and not be blaring it um, as you are going to be if your engine is right below you. So just a side note there. Again, this is built on a Spartan chassis. So there are some differences here between the other brands and the Spartan. Um, Mainly the way that this looks is going to be quite different um, and it's also going to be customizable in different ways. So we do have the mobile eye system up here. What that's going to do is alert you if you are wandering lanes or getting too close to somebody. This, it is not a mitigation system. It is only an alarm. Um, and I can show you here on these little tabs, I can choose what I want to look at right now. And right now, let's see, I want to go into my settings. And say that you're somebody that just cannot stand, um, you can't stand that mobile eye sound. Let's see, where did I see that? There it is, mobile eye setup. So if you don't like that noise or it's too alarming for you, you can actually change the volume of it. Um, you can actually turn it off if you wanted to. But um, you can also change the distance or speed that you're going before it'll let you know, okay? So that's nice to know that you have options. It's not just gonna be forced on you. Um, let's go back. I want you to also see um, that we have comfort drive steering on here. And that is something that sets apart a Numar. Um, and I can't even explain it to you fully. It is the most magical, amazing thing on a motorhome. Somebody who is very nervous about driving these or they feel like it's just too exhausting to be driving all day, this is gonna change your life. Uh, what the comfort drive system does is it keeps you straight, which sounds like not that big of a deal, but truly when you are pulling on a steering wheel all day long for eight hours straight, you're gonna be tired. You are gonna be um, tight up in your shoulders and your arms just because you're trying to keep this thing straight. Um, that does it for you. So let's say it's windy, you're driving through Kansas, um, you're not even gonna feel the way the wind is pulling you or would be pulling you around rather. Um, also, if there are really deep divots in the road that are kind of directing you, that's going to take care of that for you. So this makes such a relaxing drive. It also helps um, as far as if you're backing into a spot, um, you can point where you want to go and it will take you dead straight to where you're wanting to go um, backing up. Really, I can't say enough good things. I, I have to ask you to come and test drive one of these. It's amazing. So enough about that. I get really excited about comfort drive, but that's because I've driven other coaches and they're not fun. Let's just say it that way. Okay, there's other things you can change on here as well as um, how the screen is laid out, how bright it is, the colors, etc. 
Um, but I think we're going to move on over here. We do have your smart level system. So those are actual physical jacks that will go down and retract when you're ready to go. So very easy to use, power on, auto level. It's just going to start going. And then if I want to say all retract, it's going to do all retract for me. So really, really, really easy to use. You're not going to mess with trying to get at the perfectly level spot and get on blocks and all that. Um, the other thing to note is that these can be paired um, via Bluetooth. So you can do this outside of the coach. That's great for when you're trying to make sure you're not hitting a tree or something like that. You can, uh, or, or that you're doing it how you want it to be going. So that's just really easy to use. Um, we also do have a tag dump option, which it does this automatically on this coach. You don't really need that. But for those of you who like to have that extra amount of control, that's there for you. Um, engine brake on off, engine brake high, medium, low. We've got air horn. You can also disable your air horn. And the only, the only application I could see that being helpful is if you're in a, um, you're like in a neighborhood or a small area, you don't want to alarm people. It's nighttime, etc. Um, that it'll go back to just a basically a car horn. So it just sounds like that. The air horn is much louder, more like a semi truck. Um, this is one of my favorite buttons uh, because let's say your chassis battery has for some reason gone dead. You are stranded. Oh no, how am I going to get home? I don't have jumper cables to jump myself. I don't know. You can actually pull from your house batteries. Just hold this button down and it will give some of that juice to your chassis battery so you can get this engine started. Um, of course, while you're driving down the road, you are going to be recharging those batteries. But for when you're in that particular situation, that'll keep you out of trouble and panic for that matter. Right here, this is your Allison six speed transmission. So basically you reverse neutral is park in these motorhomes, but it doesn't actually do the same function. Neutral um, keeps you from going forward or backward, but it, you're going to have to use your, um, your brake here. So a lot of people are looking for the park. There's no park on these. You just hit neutral and then you pull your, your parking brake there. Um, drive and then you can manually um, downshift and um, upshift there, but you don't need to necessarily. It's just again for those people who would prefer to have a little bit more control. Okay, moving on, we do have powered and heated side view mirrors, um, dome lights. We have auto high beams that you can turn on or off, um, and then other light features here as well. Here we have your phone um, pick up and hang up, and your wipers are here. Um, one thing that you can't really see from where the camera is, there is a pedal over here on the left, and that's going to be the adjustment for your steering wheel. So it's going to bring it in and out and up and down. Cruise control set is over here. Um, and over here we have your music and headlights. This is your thank you lights. I love that one. Like go ahead and get in front of me or thank you for letting me in front of you. Um, and then again, this is that control for your dash setup. Okay. Over here, this is your backup camera. It's also going to populate as your side view camera when you turn your turn signals on. But we also added the 360 camera system on here. So in addition to this, we have another system over here. Now this monitor is going to serve as your Nav and Go navigation. It's also going to be your radio or Sirius XM, however you like to listen to your music. But you have a little button down here, 360 camera select, and that can just tell you, or you can, excuse me, pick how you want that to point. I like to keep this on the what I call the drone look where it appears as if there's someone hovering above me so I can see all sides at once. Some people just want to keep um, an eye on their tow vehicle or whatever and you can change that around and um, that's actually in front of me. Um, but if there's something you wanted to keep an eye on you can do that. I just like having all the way around all the time and then of course you can go back and get your radio and other things as well. So Super great safety feature there. Right here, we just have your front visor and it's on a power button. 
in a place that you don't have to turn your head away. So earlier today when I was moving this coach over here, the sun was blaring in my eyes and I had to reach over and put this shade down. The great thing about that is that I didn't have to look away or stop what I was doing, which is of course dangerous when you're driving, um, to be able to reach that button. So I love that they just put that right there. We have overhead fans here. You can hear that. Basically works as a defrost or as cooling. Like right now, this is just blowing a little bit of cool air on me, which I appreciate. Um, but a lot of motorhomes will have the actual metal fans up here and it just takes away from the beauty of your view. So I appreciate that Numar does it in an integrated way. You also, of course, have high, medium, low. Again, that uh, start stop for your generator. Um, of course, your power controls, or excuse me, your temperature controls, but we have USB here, 12 volt, um, the um, entry lock button. Um, this is a cell phone charger for you. And then we have one as well um, for the passenger. Little bit of storage here and down below. So we're gonna keep your sunflower seeds. <laughs> I think I'm so funny. <laughs> Okay, so another thing to point out while I'm getting out of this seat is that these seats are powered so they can tip back and forward and, you know, glide forward and back. Um, this is going to release the seat to, let's see, to turn it around. So both of these seats do turn forward and you have to do a little bit of finagling to get this to work just because you know the seat's big and you're not going to want to hit your steering wheel and things like that so you've got to be kind of alert while you're doing this I'm going to move this back a little bit more so I don't hit the steering wheel and then hmm. so it's going to be a little bit easier to do on that one but hmm I might just do this on the other one. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I just showed you that. That's what I need to do. So let's make this real easy. If only we could do um, outtakes of this and, uh, and they weren't live. Here we go. Much easier. Thank you for the input, Jody. So here we have more to our living room area. Seating, both of these do the same thing. Um, you get the picture. But then we also have um, foot rests as well. And they are electric. So there's that. Push the back back a little bit. And it's a really, really comfy seat actually. So I'm gonna put that back and we're gonna close this thing up so we can go see some of the things outside. And you'll get a nice view of how it looks once we're in travel mode. So only one of these controls is in the back here. That's because you wanna keep a good eye on what you're doing, making sure that there's nothing that you're gonna hit if you're going out and there's nothing on the floor that's gonna be um, impeding your coming in on this. The other two controls are up front and I'll show you those in a moment, but the placement of these is important because you need to be watching what you're doing. Okay. And that little noise you heard at the end, those are the locks that are actually built in. I'm going to make sure that I got this table in all the way. because I don't want to jam up the slide or hurt this coach in any way. It's too pretty for that. Just walking it in real slow there. Okay, I think we're good. We'll find out in a moment here. Yep, let me take care of that chair real quick. I left it a little bit too far over the edge. 
There we go. Again, this is why you want to watch what you're doing when you're bringing your slides in and out. One of the biggest problem spots is actually these front chairs. So if you don't pay attention to where this chair is, this is going to catch on here. You could have a ripped upholstery. I've actually seen these things get completely torn off. So you want to be paying really good attention. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the passenger side. Okay. So you can see, we can clearly get through this coach when it's closed up. I could even cook on the cooktop. I can get things out of the dish, or excuse me, the refrigerator is what I was trying to say. Totally usable. And this is why we have this half bath here. One of the main reasons is that you can easily get in and out of it when your slides are in. Dogs really like this too, having a little bit of space to move around while you're traveling. And if you have guests, of course, they can be watching TV or hanging out on the sofa. Just a really comfortable situation. Now that we're all closed up, I wanted to show you just a few controls that are right here and then we can go outside. Um, we do have an awning button right here and that's the one that's directly over this door. So it's independent of all of our other awnings. Um, the reason that this is useful and why it's separate is because say it's raining outside and you just want to bring in your groceries, you're not going to put all the slides out and make a big production of it. It's just to have that one little bit of shelter for a moment. That's what that one's for. We do have the upgraded Gerard awning package on here and we'll be able to see these when we go outside. But what that means is we have awnings the full length of the coach on the passenger side. So normally you're gonna get one awning. This is gonna give you two. And it's absolutely spectacular. We also have LED lighting in those. I can hear them going out, but I'll check back on them in a moment. These are your outside ex um, security lights. You can also turn your exterior step on or off. The reason that you'd want to do that is, say you're going in and out quite a bit, and every time you open the door, it's gonna retract and put out those, or you know, put out the steps. That's gonna get annoying, actually, and you know, you don't want to put any extra wear on that mechanism either. Um, but you can just have it locked out, so you know you're gonna be going in and out quite a bit. There is a fail-safe for that, so if you started driving, they are gonna pull themselves back in. Um, this is your. Um, power monitoring system so you can go through and just check um, am I plugged in is my generator running etc um, this over here is that continuous hot water system I was telling you about which also serves as your furnace so you can turn that on here you can turn it on um, excuse me let me see here AC1 or AC2 so you can do it um, off of the diesel or you can do it off of electric and you can make a choice accordingly. These are those slides I was just telling you about. This is your inverter panel, so it'll tell you again what's going on with your power systems. This is something you don't see often on a diesel pusher in general, but we did add four solar panels to the top of this coach. So you've got a lot of off-grid power going on there. Um, also, we did add the um, Wi-Fi system, the Everest, we also added the SK2 automatic satellite dish on here. Um, so you do have the ability to watch TV. You do have to get a Dish or Direct TV account and set that up, but you can do it when you're off grid in here. So it's a really nice feature. Okay, I think we can go check out these gorgeous awnings. All right.
So you can see these are the Girard awnings. They drop down. They're really, really wonderful to hang out in the outside with. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that I just closed this entry door and what I was talking about earlier, the, the wind blowing it uh, closed, it's just not going to happen. You have to kind of give it a little and I love that because I know why they do it. Um, right here we have a programmable door code that will serve as a special code for this door or also the bay doors, the basement doors. You can set up two separate codes to have those locked how you want. There also is a doorbell on here, which a lot of people think is just silly and laugh about it, but it actually serves a really good purpose. You cannot hear through the insulation on these doors. If you're inside the coach, they are so stout with insulation. You're not gonna be able to hear if somebody's trying to get your attention. So good to have a doorbell. We do have dual uh, diesel fill. So there's one on the side, one on the other. You can actually fill them both at the same time save you time at the pump. So this little uh, storage space here is prepped if you wanted to put a freezer fridge combination down here, uh, basically a chest freezer for your RV. There's room for that and it's wired for that. So you've got plugins over there. Um, just to give you a visual of the insulation, um, these doors are completely full of insulation. And then under the coach as well, you'll see the floor is here. So this is where the insulation ends on these. So a lot of people ask, are these four seasons or can I use them in the, in the winter or whatever? Um, yeah, if you keep your Oasis, your hydronic heating system going, this whole basement's gonna be quite warm actually. And because of the great insulation, it's not gonna bleed out over time. Um, so yes, very usable. I'm just gonna close that better. Um, we of course have an outside TV here. It does move around, it's on an arm. And a, another Bose sound bar. <laughs> One of our um, bay, air, bay storage here, we have um, one of these slide out trays. Now this tray can go out either side, so you can get all the way to the stuff that you've stored in the middle of the coach quite easily. With now, you don't have to crawl around down there, but I can show you on the other side, but this goes the same distance out on the opposite side of the coach, so you can get the things over there easily as well. Another full pass-through bay. And you may see on the other side there, there's some extra tiles in case you happen to break any on the floor. This bay, we also have a tray, but it does not go all the way through because you have a water tank on the opposite side. You also have your vacuum components here still sealed in the bag. And your vacuum system is right there as well. So that's where you're gonna empty that out. But you can also plug your hoses in here and vacuum out your bay area. So right here is where you're gonna put those hoses in and then you just vacuum these out really nice. Again, carpeted, that's gonna help with noise, with things shifting around and moving, etc. And also with a little bit of insulation. This area, we've got a water tank back here. So there's not a lot of usable space, but Numar decided to make it a tool area um, just so you can put extra death fluid or oils or whatever, and also hang up some tools on that little pegboard. Um, I'm not doing this well because I'm talking. <laughs> Sorry, these are not hard to close. I'm just a little distracted. So I apologize about that. This is that emergency exit door I showed you earlier. And you can see it's really not that far down, but you do have a ladder there to help with that as well. So back here, we have your chassis batteries, air dryer. Um, and this is a Cummins 400. Built on the K2 chassis. 
We, of course, have a backup camera, and we also have that 360 camera system, which gives you an additional rear camera. That's to keep an eye on your tow vehicle if that's something that you're interested in doing. We also have, on the Spartan, they have an integrated um, air system for your tow vehicle, so you don't have to add that later on. Back here, a little bit more storage. And then in this next place is where you're gonna put your DEF uh, fluid in. Now, the DEF fluid, you only have to fill it about every third time you fill up your diesel fuel. And it's about the same price as unleaded gasoline, generally. So it's not a huge expense. It's not that big of a deal. And it does make it a little cleaner burning for you. This funny little compartment is so that you can keep your black hose away from all your other things that you wanna keep sanitary. So I love that they do that. And then over here's your water bay. Numar has started doing this stainless steel rather than a plastic panel. And that helps for a couple of reasons. It's not gonna, um, this etching is not gonna wear off over time, um, but it also looks really sleek and more bus-like. Um, we do have power rewind water hose as well as our 50 amp. And I'll just show you how that works. This is so great when it's really cold or mucky out that you don't have to be touching it and wrestling with a frozen hose trying to get it in this little spot. This just pulls itself right back in. You do need to guide it a little bit, like you don't want to get it caught on things, but you're not going to be messing with um, the bulk of the work, basically. Um, this is that whole house water filter. It's, of course, disengaged right now because um, it's winter and we have a winterized unit. Um, but little outside shower um, and very comprehensive usage here. Um, auto fill for your water, so you don't have to worry about that. This is your 50 amp cord. It's 50 feet long and it's also powered. So it'll pull itself right back in with the push of a button. Um, we also have a surge protector with a transfer switch down here. And a light down there, just so you know what you're doing at night. Next door is this hydronic heating system. Now, Numar uses the Oasis brand. A lot of you are familiar with Aqua Hot. Um, they are very similar, but Oasis is a cleaner burning, less maintenance unit. So um, something to look into if you're curious, um, why aren't they using Aqua Hot? This is a great brand. They work really, really well. And I have to tell you, as I was just putting my hand in the water bay, it was quite warm in there because this is going. So. Um, Again, that insulation, I'm not joking about. So here's another view of that pass-through storage. You can also see the star foundation that Numar has added to the chassis rail. So when these manufacturers get these chassis, there's of course a really stout chassis rail, which is the big black piece right here. So what Numar does is they add this extra piece all the way around. They call it their star foundation, but it keeps it from bending and twisting which is gonna help with the integrity of the slides through the years, um, help them not to sag over time. Um, it's also gonna give you a much um, less um, rough ride is how I'm gonna explain it. Um, it's not gonna have the bend and twist that other coaches are gonna have. So Star Foundation is another thing. Um, there are videos on it that I would definitely look into. Um, and this is the other side of that slide out tray. So really handy that you can do it from either side, reach all of your stuff that's in the middle of the coach and it's not wasted space and you're not breaking your back trying to get to it. Locks into place. Here we have your eight um, house batteries. Now again, we do have a generator on here and solar panels to keep those charged. Those are deep cycle lead acid batteries. 
and then we'll just move over here this is the other side of that diesel fill place so both sides right here we've got some of your um, breaker um, components as well as the ability to open your generator hood here so I popped it earlier and I just wanted you to be able to see in here real quick we have a 12,000 Cummins Onan diesel generator in here that is going to give you more than enough power if you're doing some boondocking we also added a hot water line to the generator and that's a funny little option most people don't know what it does but it basically it takes hot water from your generator and you can melt the bug guts right off of your windshield so it's really nice for keeping it clean up here so I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. These are live videos. So if I have missed anything, misspoke, or left anything out that you really want to know, please get a hold of me. I'm happy to do so. Um, I'm Teresa Crawley at teresa.crawley at transwest.com.